is Empress Virgo of Empress Virgo Tarot back again with another reading. This time it is a general reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Well, whenever you guys happen to watch this reading, well, it's for March, but you might call, come across it beyond March. There may be a message in the reading for you. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. So let's get into the reading. Again, any messages that come up may be for you, okay? But if it doesn't apply, let it fly, okay? General messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for March of 2023. Guys, if you guys like to read or know someone who likes to read, I have a project out. My book, Life's Not a Dress Rehearsal, that's the cover right there, is out right now and available wherever books are sold. And it is a page turn and read. It's about my time in the public school classroom as a K-12 teacher and as a preschool teacher. It's a page turn and read. I promise you, you won't be disappointed if you decide to purchase a copy, okay? All right. Okay. All right. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Seven of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Empress. Overall energy, the lovers. Okay. So you got to make a choice about something. For some of y'all, it's about a person that you've been dealing with and having, um, romantic feelings for for others y'all it's just a choice about what it is you're going to do with your life are you going to pursue this love relationship are you going to give this person another chance or are you going to continue to heal yourself and move forward with your life i'm not trying to make it a love reading it could be choosing career over love for some of y'all that was a choice that y'all had to make and you felt like you were stuck between a rock and a hard place for some of y'all it wasn't a um a difficult decision to make because you were dealing with someone who possibly could have been low-key deceiving you about something it's like it was always a battle to be with this particular person uh for some of y'all y'all had a hard time maintaining a balance between your work life and your romantic life and you suffered in one avenue mainly your romantic life when dealing with a particular person uh, it could have been on Gemini or you have Gemini placements. Uh, I feel like when you were dealing with this person, they felt like you were breadcrumbing them and were just giving them, <laughs> giving them a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But I feel like you were just trying to take your time and take it slow with this person because I feel like for some of y'all in the past, you have experienced feeling like you had the rug or pull away from under you or the wool pulling pull from over your eyes when dealing with a particular person and you don't want to make that same mistake twice for some of y'all this is the balancing of your divine masculine and divine feminine energy but for others of y'all who this resonates with this reading i feel like you're meeting your counterpart and i don't even like to say that because counter means to push and pull and tug and all that but for some of y'all it's a reconciliation of opposites, meaning this is this could be someone that you were with in the past or this could be someone you're going to be meeting now as you're getting yourself together, getting yourself healed, letting go of trauma from your past. Now you're meeting the one who can meet your energy. OK, I feel like when you meet this person, uh, you might see them as a player, might see them as someone who has it can get anyone they want and they're playing the field. They might have done that at one particular point because, hey, nobody out here is a saint. Um, some people are trying to do the best that they can with the information that's available to them. And I feel like the person that you're coming across, they may have sold their royal oats, as people like to say. But I feel like now this person, when you meet them, they're a hardworking person. You're a hardworking person. And now they're in a phase in their life where they're ready to settle down or consider settling down with someone but i feel like they've had their heart broken okay recently and maybe this is you too had having had experienced heartbreak a time or two in your romantic endeavors but i feel like baby both of y'all guarded it's like you want to trust them but you've seen so much from your previous relationships that it makes you guarded towards 
everyone you come across yeah five of cups that's that heartbreak but you're trying to move on from it six of swords as well came out um and look that's page of pentacles like i said for some of y'all you're trying to take it slow with this particular person for some of y'all this is someone new for others of y'all this might for a small group of y'all this might be someone that you didn't have any major relationship trauma from it might have been that things just didn't work out it was always one thing after another or you might have thought they had too much on their plate or you had too much on your plate. But let me clarify this four of pentacles. I keep feeling like a lot of y'all just working on your craft, working on business projects, working on your nine to five job. And you like, I don't have time for no love relationship, but it's coming all the same. All that energy you putting into becoming the emperor or the empress it, it's paying off, but you being guarded and closed off in other ways, yeah. You need to open up Ace of Cups. You you closed off, and this person you're, you're coming into union with, they probably closed off too. But look, you can have the victory in everything, not in just love, in making the choice to heal yourself and making the choice to uh, get into a new relationship, a new connection that is worth it. You're healing yourself and you're giving yourself a shot at love, a shot at the career you want, whatever it is, and things will flow. You won't have to chase the money or the status in the career. It will flow to you easily. It's the, That's Law of Attraction 101. If your heart is open, if you are flowing within a loving, healthy relationship, then stuff will just flow to you. You'll have so many opportunities for stuff. It won't even be funny. But I feel like spirit is telling y'all, y'all need to open up. Let go of that hurt from the past so you can move forward. Stop doubting yourself and stop wallowing in that energy of what someone or some people did to you in the past. Let it go and forgive, not for them, but for yourself so you can move forward and find the love you want, the career you want, the opportunities you want in life, and things will just flow to you. Okay, you don't have to chase it. Most of the time when you chase stuff, that's when it repels from you. I'm just saying. But okay, let's see here. Divine Holy Spirit, what additional messages do you have for Leo? So I'm on rising and Venus placements for March of 2023. Can't make this up. Abundance is yours if you want it. Okay? You've been seeing the signs that's on the bottom of the deck that union is coming with your divine counterpart or that you're balancing the divine masculine and divine feminine energy within yourself for those of y'all who say, I don't want love. Okay. Well, things are aligning within you. You're pursuing things. You're healing yourself. And as you continue to heal, things will align for you, whether you feel like you want it or not, good things are coming towards you. Okay. You just have to be open. Abundance. Ace of Cups highlights the four. <laughs> Uh, clarifies the four of pentacles be open to love be open to whatever blessings that life has for you i promise you they're coming look at this be open because the abundance is around you and it's coming in stop being scared okay feeling like you don't know what to do feeling like things negative things of the past will repeat no this is your time to shine abundance is here for the taking it's always been around you you just have to be in the right energy to receive it a lot of y'all are getting in that energy leo placements and it's showing all right so that's all i have for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed your reading if you did give the video a thumbs up share subscribe join our tribe hit the notification bell and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys